Hello, everybody. I'm Joey, and welcome to episode two of Joey Plays Atari 2600 using the Atari 2600 emulator Stella. Today, we're going to be playing this game here. This is Sword Quest Earth World for the Atari 2600, as I've already said, and uh, this is going to be a bit more of a let's play or a walkthrough, so it's not going to be like last time. And I'm hoping to turn this into more of a Let's Play series, rather than just me playing random games, because that didn't turn out too well. So, we're just going to try to do a Let's Play series, and we're going to see how it works. So, all we have to do is start. And, yeah, I will be using saves uh, in this game um, on some of the... Um, on some of the uh, challenges that there are in this game, because some of them are just too hard to do without a save. I'll try it once, and then if stuff starts to go wrong, I will just go to save. Right. So the first thing you do is you go up five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hooray, our first clue, 16 and 4. Write it down. You'll need it for later. Now we go down to... 1. 2. And by hitting the action button, we come in here and we drop this item, which is a dagger, and this item, which is... Or grab that item, which is a short, short sword, and this item, which they call a lamp or a candle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we go back down one. Hooray! Right, our second clue already. Eight and four. Again, write it down. You'll need it for later. And now we hit the action button, and then we hit the action button again. And in here we pick up the ring, and we drop the grappling hook, and leave the cancer room. Actually, let me explain that. This, here, this is the cancer symbol. and. Um, everything in this Sword Quest, in the Sword Quest Earthworld thing, has to do with signs of the Zodiac. So yeah, that's the Cancer Room. Now we go down one to Leo. It's the first room where we have a task to do. We gotta get past Leo's Rainbow Waterfalls. See if I can do this here. I usually can. No! Err. Nope. I am gonna use, start using saves right now. I have to get past the third one here. And past the fourth one. There we go. <laughs> See, I told you. Right. Um, now, I'm going to change... No, I'm going to leave that. Now, we grab the food, which is this, and we drop this item, which is a rope, and then we can leave Leo. And now we go up one. Our third clue, 25 and 6. I love it. Every clue is a different tune. <clears throat> and now we go up five to Aquarius. Oh no. I hate this room. I hate the challenge in it. The challenge in it is so annoying, and this is the challenge that I use saves on. I mean, look at this. Ah oh, man.
Ah, eh, forget it. Let's just start again. No. Forget it. Let's see if I can do it without saves. No. No. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Come back. No. No. Ugh. I should seriously just do a jump cut here. Be back in a moment. Okay. I'm back and made it through. So here when we grab this thing, this is the Talisman of Passage. And what the Talisman of Passage does is it opens the doors to the left and the right, which are usually blocked. And it also lets you skip the Leo Waterfall level. You also pick up this, which is the water. And you also have to drop the ring, which we previously picked up, and leave. And now we go up one. And we go right one. And we complete these. Torah spoons, which is what those are called. And now in here we grab the key. The key does the same thing as the talisman, as an opening doors to the left and the right. The only thing the key does not do is let you skip the Leo waterfall level. Now we go right one again. And in here we drop off the talisman and we pick up the female symbol which is actually a which is actually a necklace and we can leave now we go down one and in here we oh actually we go back up let me go back up here so actually from here we go down two. One. Two. And in here, we drop the key. Aw, we can't go to the left and the right. Ah, let's just go the long way around. And we leave. And now we go up five. One. Oh, probably just boy be counting off. Two. Listen to these sounds. Ah, classic sounds. Alright, now in here, we need to drop off the necklace and pick up the dagger. This is the one of the first rooms that we went into. After we went up five and we went down two, this is the second room that we uh, stepped into. Our, well, six. Seventh room that we stepped into. Alright, so after we've done that... We can then go down one. Ah, thirteen and three. Our fourth clue, I believe. And then in here we can grab uh, the grappling hook. This is the cancer room again that we've previously been into. Now we can leave the gap. Now we go down one. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Pick up the grappling hook. Do we go down two? Go back up one here. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm backtracking here. And we go, no, we did, okay. So we go down one. Right, we did that. Now we go down two from here, sorry. One, two, right here. So now, we drop off the sword, and we pick up the talisman. See, this game is so confusing that even with my clear notes, I still get confused. Right. That's better. 
Now we go down one. And we drop off the grappling hook. And then we leave. And we go down one again. And here we drop off the food and pick up the key, but we do not want the annoying amulet. What the amulet does is it makes the rooms appear in random orders and it really annoys me. So luckily I've optimized a route to a degree where I won't have to annoy me too much. Right, so now we go left one. There we go. Five and three. I hope you've been writing these down. I told you to. And now we go up two. Stop hurting my man. There we go. Okay, now in here we drop the dagger and we pick up the shoes of stealth. What the shoes of stealth do is they basically muffle your footsteps in case if you find that noise annoying. It has no effect in your gameplay whatsoever. They're absolutely useless. Now we go down. Wait a minute. And now we go down one. Or, no, we don't. Sorry. We go up two. Ignore that last thing I said. One. Two. Alright, in here, we drop those shoes. We got the key. Stupid controller. No. We drop the shoes, as well as the water, which we will need again. Now, we go down one. Wait a minute. Crap. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Right, okay. Let's go back. No, let's find that room. Where did I put those? There we go. Right. Okay, so there we go. Now. <clears throat> I dropped the dagger and I picked up the shoes there. Right now we go up one. Now we drop the shoes in here, and the wat in in the water in here, which we will need again. Now we go down one. There we go. So that's our next clue. Twenty seven two. Now we go up one and pick up the water again. See, I told you we'd need that again. Okay, and now we go up one again. And we drop off the water. Again. We leave. And now we go up two. And in here, we pick up the leather armor, which basically lets you go through, um... The spears and the Toro spoons, those little red things that I said stop hurting my man on. Yeah, that'll let you go through there without getting hurt. Okay. And now we need to go down one. Oh uh, no. I have to do this thing again. Ah, oh, shoot. 
There we go. Right. <clears throat> All right. So now we go in here and we grab the ring and we drop the armor. Of course, something we just picked up. And now we go down one. And we go left one. And in here we pick up the food, as well as the annoying amulets, which like I said before, makes the rooms appear in random orders. And now what we need to do is we, go, we need to go left and then right until we reach Gemini. So now we go left, and we go right, and that's Aquarius, and we go left, and we go right. Oh, come on, that was the same room. We go left, look at it, it is literally the same room, and then we go right, left, Aquarius, and right. Theoretically, this could go on for hours. Theoretically, this could go on for hours. No. There we go. Okay, so now we drop off the annoying amulet, and then we leave, and then we go up one. And then we complete this again. Basically, if I had the leather armor, I'd be able to go straight through here without getting hurt at all. Because it basically just makes you, like, invisible or protected from all these things. Right, now in here, we drop off the food. And now I'm on to my second page of notes. Now we leave. And now we go right one. Wait, 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 what? What? Is that a clue? Well, yes, it is a clue. It, apparently, it has to do with the Sword Quest Fireworld, and it makes absolutely no sense. Um, although the clues in Fireworld make no sense whatsoever as well. So you can write it down if you want, but there's absolutely no need to. It has nothing to do with the with the ending of the game, but you have to find it to complete the game. So, after all of our hard work for that, we go into here, we pick up the short sword, and drop off the ring, and then we can leave. Now we go down one. And in here we need to drop off the lamp, and we don't need the grappling hook for now. And we go down two. And in here, after we complete this, the leather armor would also let me go straight through here. These evil spears. Come on, give me a clear path. Let me go. No. I'm so sorry, you poor, poor man. I'm getting hurt by all these random random spears. Oh, come on. No. No. Well, basically, this walkthrough is just me saying no so far. No, come on. Get, no. Oh, come on. Stop hurting my man. No, 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 come on.
Come on. Come on. Ugh. No. Oh, come on. Seriously? Finally! Right, now we get to grab the Cloak of Invisibility, which will just let us skip it all together. Why do I have the recording here? Uh, and now we go left one. And look, we're at Leo, but we have the talisman, so we just get to skip it all together. And in here, we get to drop off the sword and grab the rope. You can see this is what you do the whole game. You just take things out of one room and put them in another room and continue on. Now we go up one. We drop the talisman and leave. Go up one again. We grab the necklace and leave. Go up two. Grab the shoes. Give and leave. And then we go up three. And we drop off the cloak here, and then we can leave again. And then we go left one. Come on, stop it. 17 and 3, our next normal clue. And then in here we get to drop the, or grab the ring. And drop off the shoes as well as the rope and then leave okay now we go down one and here we drop off the uh necklace and we grab the hook and the lamp and then we can leave again Right. Okay, yeah. Alright, and then we go left one. And we go down one. And we drop off the lamp here. And grab the talisman, and then we leave. And then we go right one. And we go down one. Oh no. Not these horrible, stupid old things again. Nope. Sometimes leaving and coming back will make the path a little easier on both this room as well as Aquarius. Um, and also on the tours, uh, those, uh, the little red things that I call the tours of spoons. Um, it will make it, it could make it easier on both of those, on all three of these rooms. And there we go. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, we just drop the talisman in here, and then we go left one, and you go 37.5, and we go into here, and because we don't have the talisman, we gotta do this horrible thing again. No! There we go. And in here we grab the sword. 
And then we leave, and then we go up one. And in here we grab the lamp. Um, and we go up one again. And in here we drop off the sword. And then we leave. We go up one again. Oh, by the way, um, you need the lamp to see these things. Um, if you didn't have the lamp, you would not be able to see these. Uh, right. So in here, we drop the ring, we grab the food, and dagger. Okay, yep, 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 yep. And then we can leave again. Okay, and now we go right one. And in here, we drop off the food, we grab the rope. And then we leave. Then we go right one again. And here we grab the cloak of invisibility. And then we leave. And then we go down one. Oh no. I didn't even try that. Come on, get up there. Right, so now in here, we get to drop the Cloak of Invisibility, grab the Leather Armor, and then leave. Just checking how long I've been recording here, okay. Then we go down two. And in here, we drop the key off, and then we leave and we go down to again and we grab the uh, annoying amulets again and uh, now we go up down up down until we reach Scorpio up oh come on that's the same room down Come on! Thank you! Drop the st st stupid amulet in the grappling hook as well. Right! And now we go up one! That was a cool tone. 15 and 4. Okay. And in here we. Drop off the armor. We grab the necklace and then leave. And we go up one. And we grab the food and the shoes and then we leave. And then we go down two. 
Alright, and then here we drop off the rope, as well as the food, and we pick up the hook and the amulet. Now, fortunately, since we have the necklace, it cancels out the effect of the amulet. So, we can still follow the rooms and the orders are meant to be in. Now we just go up four. One. Two. Three. Four. And now we drop the amulet that didn't have to, that didn't annoy us that time. Now we go up one. And we drop off the necklace, we pick up the sword, and then we leave. And not that many steps left, we only have to do Aquarius one more time. Now we'll go up one. Aw, oh, man. No, come on. There we go. Right, so in here we grab the ring and we drop off the dagger and leave. And we go up one. And we grab the key. Then we leave and then we go down one. Wait, wait a minute. And down, okay. We drop off the key. And leave. And we go up three. Alright, this is the last time that we have to do this stupid challenge. I forget it was a study. There we go. Right. Now we drop off the shoes and we grab the cloak of the invisibility. And like I said before, that was the last time that we had to do that room. And now we go down two. And since we had the cloak, we were able to skip that, and then we can drop, now we drop the cloak, and now we go down three. And in here, we drop off the lamp, and we leave, and we go down three again. And in here, we drop off the and the room, and then we leave, 
And then we go down three. And in here we drop off the sword and then we leave. And then we go down two. And here we wait a minute. Not down three, down two. There we go. And here we pick up the water. And then we leave and we go down three. Can you guess what we're gonna do this time? That's right. That's right. Drop the water. Leave. And now you can go out the up exit or the down exit and you complete the game. And listen. And it gives you your last clue, which is 47 and 5. And if we start again, look. Look at what we have here. We got the master sword. And we got the can't the lamp. And the amulet, which I'm not going to use. But now I can walk around and I can go down and... Can I go right or left yet? No. Okay, it's still dust block us. Right, and now I can go down again. And again. And grab the leather armor. Which I don't think works on Leo. Does it? No. It doesn't work on Leo. That's me. See if I can find that Scorpio room here. Oh, there's Scorpio. But it doesn't. Wait a minute, does having that sword let me skip or something? Oh no, okay. But yeah, you guys get the idea. So that is the game. That is the whole game. And that is Let's Play Sword Quest. For the Atari 2600 Sword Quest Earth World, Earth World, next time, I hope to show you guys either Sword Quest Fire World or Hero, um, but we will see. So, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope it was a lot better than the last one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!